Happy Monday everyone, welcome back to the Meals of the Week. Now, I haven't felt the best today and I was all ready to make dinner. Well, I think Mark make it. No, Mark didn't make it. Mark actually said he was going to make it because I came back from picking up Freddie and had a bad head. But, we've had a takeaway. So, I just thought I'd let you know. I'll show you, I forgot to show you Freddie's. Because Freddy's, I've taken it up to Freddy now. He got a large nugget meal with nine nuggets, fries and a strawberry milkshake. And that's quite rare because normally the milkshake machines are always not working. And I will show you what we've got. It's not that bad really, but um, yeah, I'll show you what we've got. Bearing in mind, Mark has eaten something. So it looks like I've got more, but I haven't. Right, so here is my dinner. I've got nuggets, chicken select. It's like a chicken select meal for two some the best sweet curry sauce that's the best mcdonald's share box. oh chicken share box and then i got a um cheeseburger and then mark's got exactly the same but he's got a hamburger how come i've only got five because you ate a nugget mm, no proof in that. yeah so here is dinner for today hello everyone welcome to Tuesday's dinner, here's Freddy's normal really, sausages, fries to go and a steam fresh veg and he's got a big bottle of drink of orange as well. Right here's our first hello fresh meal, honey mustard chicken thighs, here's all how you do it, it is so easy and there's all the ingredients and it's all weighed out for you. I don't think there's any extras I need as well. Um, first of all, I'm going to cut all the potatoes up. It says into two centimetre um, dice, like two centimetre squares. So I'm going to get all them cut up because they're the ones that will take the most cooking. So I'll get all that done. And then after I've done that, I'll come back to you. So there it is, they're all diced up. I'm gonna put them on a baking tray, spray some oil, salt and pepper, and put them in the oven for 30 minutes. I combine the mayo, the mayonnaise, and half the mustard right after that. And after my potatoes have been cooking for 10 minutes, I've got to put the chicken on the baking tray and put in the oven and I sprinkle over the lemon and the herb seasoning. What are you doing? <laughs> we didn't see that. Well, we did because I videoed it. Are good. they chicken breasts or chicken They're thighs? thighs. Lay the chicken thighs flat onto the lime baking tray. Sprinkle over the lemon and herb seasoning and drizzle on the honey. This is now being filmed by Mark Film Production. You can tell by the... Always wash your hands when you touch raw meat as well. Wash. So the lemon and herb seasoning is going to go I, I was giving a shout out to my one for it. Well, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Drizzle on the honey and spread over the remaining mustard with the back of the spoon. So the lemon and herb seasoning. So now we're going to put that on both sides. And then drizzle on the mustard. I'll mix that in. What with? No, I'll put it, I'll use a back of a spoon or something. Exactly. Put that on. Oh no, I just use my finger. No, I don't. Let's use my the back of the spoon. Put the mayonnaise on. 
and then use the rest of put the rest of the mustard on. And then in a minute, I'm putting it in the oven. I'll pick it up, shall I? <laughs> I will clean that, by the way. And I've got to clean my hands. Um, yeah, yum. Can you start that again? But not. Can you pretend to season it? Pretend, pretend, right, pretend, season pretend. It. Yep, yeah, okay. Salt and pepper. Right, and action. So now I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper. It's hard to do the, oh, sugar. It's Obviously that's going to now be mine. So then I've got to um, see how, my, how long I've got left on my, on my, um, <laughs> phone. On my phone. Right. Goodbye. I've added the peas to the roasting tray. I'm going to put them back in the oven. They're cooking very nicely. So I'll put these back in the oven and then it will be all done in a couple of minutes. And there it is, all dished up. Hello everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's meals. Freddie today has got um, barbecued bird's eye barbecued chicken char grills with steam fresh and some fries to go so and also a nice big bottle of his sugar-free orange so that's freddy's dinner for wednesday right hello everyone happy thursday this is thursday's meals i apologize last night i think i had my um lunch late and i just wasn't hungry mark what did you have i had this is what mark had uh, about it's a mark dinner probably 12 chicken nuggets 12 chicken nuggets in two toasted sandwiches in two toasted sandwiches with any with tomato sauce potentially tomato sauce potentially i can't remember oh no no i did did with so, vinegar, so long ago now as well. um yeah so he had some nugget basically nugget sandwiches and I showed you um, Freddy's, but I didn't have anything. Today, Freddy did have, he asked for a McDonald's, so I got him a McDonald's. And um, he'll just have, like, say, some, a snack. If I do it, I'll show you it, but he, he'll have a snack. But we are having a HelloFresh meal. I'm going to use the one that has got the lowest date. It's still all right. It's the 6th of July. But let me show you what one I've got. So it is a sweet and sticky sesame pork stir fry with the ingredients there. So I've got the pork mint, which I said was, it's the 6th of July. And there's all the um, stuff that I need. So let's have a look to make sure everything's there. So we have the pepper, the Thai style spice mix, the sugar snap peas, the fragrant jasmine rice, rice vinegar, soy sauce, the mints that you saw, I think I'm going to say it's ketchup menace, and white roasted sesame seeds. So this is going to be a medium spice, so hopefully it's not less hot to, for me. Um, it's all on the hob. Boiling the rice, frying the ingredients, putting the sauce in and um, serving it up. So it, it is literally so easy and I think it's a, it's a 15 minute one. So it's going to be a quick one. So let's start doing it. Right, so the 
water's on and I've put some salt in there so I'm gonna boil the rice for 12 to 15 minutes until it's done then I drain it and I cover it and leave it while I do the, the rest so I've diced the pepper into two centimeter chunks I'm gonna heat a drizzle of oil in the frying pan Turn the frying pan on and I'm going to put the pork mince, the pepper and the sugar snap peas in there and the Thai style spice. I'm not going to put it all in on otherwise it's going to be too hot for me. Break up the pork and then drain the fat. Season with salt and pepper and obviously you have to always wash your hands after handling raw meat. So I'm going to chop all the, the mince up cook all this to it's brown. That's cooking nicely. So is the rice. Right now it's all sauce time. I've got to add in the ketchup mayonnaise, rice vinegar, soya, sugar, ketchup and a splash of water. I thought you had to have sugar. When's the sugar going? pantry for both oh and yeah so let's put all this in and then now I'm gonna mix it all up and then you simmer it for a minute rice is rice is done and let's simmer in for a minute and then literally it's done and I've just got to put sesame seeds over it and there it is it's all done Yummy. Happy Friday everyone, we've made it to Friday. So here's Freddy's dinner. Um, Tesco chipolatas with fries to go and steam fresh. It's got a big bottle of squash. We had to cook all the sausages um, because the last day was tomorrow. So there's some here for Mark. He's gonna make a sausage sandwich tomorrow unless he eats them today, I never know. You never know. So yeah, I'm gonna give this to Freddie now. Right, now our dinner. We've got Italian inspired pork meatball burger with chips. I'm not having the rocket. We don't like rocket. We're actually gonna have corn on the cob instead. So I'll make that with it. So I've got to, very easy, cut up the chips and they're cooking for 30 to 35 minutes. So get them in before I do anything else. Then I'm making the meatballs cook them mix the mayo and basically in the pantry one that's what they don't include mayonnaise we've got honey we've got olive oil we won't need because it's for the dressing for the the rocket and you make that and then you will be putting the burger buns in the oven with the meatballs cheese etc and then you add the chips that's really easy so let's get going now i'm gonna put this in a bowl grate the garlic in mix it all up and then roll it into we have five balls each and i'm going to be putting it into the oven so i'm gonna do that right here are the meatballs so i'm gonna put them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, obviously until they're cooked. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put them in. Don't put them in yet though. So now I am just gonna grate the cheese because when the meatballs are done, they're gonna go in the, the meatballs are gonna go in the burger with the cheese over and then into the oven. Mayonnaise. Um, for the, um, what is it called? Mix the mayo, which is from our fridge and sun-dried tomato paste. Right, so that's mixed up. And then what I'll do, when the meatballs are done, it's gonna go, the meatballs are gonna go into a clean bowl, drizzle some honey, and then mix it up so it's all mixed up. And then I'm gonna cut the burgers, put them on the tray, put the meatballs in, and put the cheese on top, and then it goes back in. 
to cook. Right, here's the meatballs, and I'm going to put them in a bowl, and then I'm going to put honey on them and mix them all up with them. Looks like that. Then you'll put your cheese on top. Goes back into the oven to melt. Oh, that. There's a corn. It was supposed to be corn on the cob, but the corn on the cob went off, so we've got frozen corn instead. I'm not using the um, balsamic glaze because that is that's normally what you'll put on your rocket, and I'm not using the rocket. So that's the only two things I'm not using. But like I said, we're using, um, we're cooking sweet corn instead. Put the mayonnaise and sun-dried tomato, and it's all cooked. Ouch. I'll, put, I'll show you when it's on the plate. All dished up. Just the difference is we didn't have rocket.